Welcome to Moo Moo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to talk about how to add mixed numbers. And I would like to show two different methods. The first one is just adding them, and the second method is converting it to an improper fraction. And you can see which technique you like best. So let's go ahead and get started. A mixed number is a whole number plus a fraction. And so if I were to rewrite this, I could write 3 and 2 thirds as 3 plus 2 thirds plus 2 and 5 6. So what I like to do is I like to move the fractions. If you draw a line, I like to move the fractions to one side and I like to move the whole numbers onto the other side of this line. So I have 3 plus 2. So the 3 went here, it's a whole number, the 2 is there, and then the fractions. Now, the reason I like to do this is it just cuts down errors because there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of steps in adding mixed numbers, and I've just found it helps to keep everything straight. So let's go ahead and add 2 thirds plus 5 sixths, and I always start with the fractions first because you may have an improper fraction and need to move an additional whole number to this side. So 2 thirds plus 5 sixths, we cannot add them because they do not have similar um, denominators, and so we'll find a lowest common denominator, and I know that it is 6. So now, 3 times 2 is equal to 6, and so I will multiply the numerator 2 times 2, and that equals 4. Now, in, in 5, 6, 6 times 1 is equal to 6, and 5 times 1 is equal to 5, so I'm just going to move it down to here. Okay, So now, we just add straight across. So we have 4 plus 5, which is 9, 6. Okay, so now we have an improper fraction, and so I need to convert it to a mixed number. So 6 goes into 9 one time, and then 9 minus 6 is equal to 3, 6, and I can simplify that to 1 and a half. Okay, and then I'm going to move this 1 to this side. So I move the 1 there, so it becomes 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6 and one half, because remember, I moved this one over to here. So the answer is six and one half, okay? Now let me show you the same thing, but we're gonna convert it to a mixed, no, excuse me, into a improper fraction. So I'll go quickly. Three times three is nine, plus two is 11 thirds, plus six times two is 12, plus 5 is 17 over 6, okay? I can use the same lowest common denominator. I cannot add them because they're not the same. And so it will be 11 times 2 over 3 times 2, okay? Plus 7 over 6, okay? 11 times 2 is 22 over 6, plus 17 over 6. Okay, so far so good. I now just add 17 and 22, which becomes 7 plus 2 is 9, and 1 times 3 is 39. Okay, 6 will go into, excuse me, so now I move the 6 over, getting ahead of myself. So let's recap what I did. 22 plus 17 is 39, and then move the lowest common denominator over. I then, I'm gonna convert this to a mixed number, so 39 divided by six goes six times, which is 36, and I have three left over, so that becomes six and three six, which is six and a half when you simplify or reduce, okay? So let's go ahead and work another example. That's the first one, and we'll work both techniques again okay so and I'll speed it up just a little bit here okay we have I'm gonna draw a line we have 2 plus 1 half plus 1 plus 2 thirds so I'm gonna move 1 half plus 2 thirds on the right and then 2 plus 1 on the other side okay I always start with the fractions first so 
one half. I'm gonna. I need to find the lowest common denominator because I cannot just add them because the denominators are unlike. So I will use multiplication: two, four, six, eight, three, six, nine. So six is common. So six becomes my common denominator. So I will go um, one over two, and two goes into uh, six three times. So I will go one times three plus three goes into six two times, and two times two. And so let's multiply this out. One times three is three. Two times three is six plus. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6, so that becomes 7, 6. Again, that's why I always start on the right side, because again, we have an improper fraction, so 6 goes into 7 1 times with 1 left over, so I have 1 and 1, 6. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is move the 1 to the other side, so now I have 2 plus 1 plus 1, and that equals 2, 3, 4, and 1, 6. Okay, so the answer is 4 and 1, 6. Do an improper fraction and see if we get the same answer of 4 and 1, 6. Okay, so let's convert it to an improper fraction. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5 halves, plus 3 times 1 is 1, plus 2 is 5 thirds. I cannot add them because I do not have a common denominator, so it will become 6. And so, uh, let's rewrite this. 2, common denominator is 6. 2 will go into 6 3 times, so it will be 2 times 3 plus 5 times 3 plus... 3 goes into 6 2 times, 3 times 2 over 5 times 2, and that becomes 15 over 6 plus 10 over 6, and that becomes 25 over 6, and then I can reduce this. 6 will go into 25 4 times, because 6 times 5 is 24, so let me go ahead and set this up over here so it's not so confusing. 6 times 4 is 24. 6, 12, 18, 24. I have 1 left over, so that becomes 1, 6. So it becomes 4 and 1, 6. And that's the same answer as we got before. Okay. So whichever method you like, you can either just add the fractions or you can convert it to an improper fraction and it works out the same when adding mixed numbers. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day.